In my last video, I went over how to import a DSC configuration in Azure Automation. Now I'm going to show you how to add an Azure VM to Azure Automation DSC. First, you'll need to make sure you have an Automation account created, as well as an Azure VM. Once you have those created, we can go into the Automation account, and under Configuration Management, click on DSC Nodes. Next, I'm going to click on Add Azure VM. This will bring up a list of my current Azure VMs. I'm going to click on AZ Test 01. That's going to open up a new blade, and I'm going to click Connect. From the registration blade, I'm going to choose the drop-down for node configuration name, and I'm going to select TestConfig.IsWebServer. I am going to leave the refresh frequency to 30 minutes. This setting specifies how often the machine will check in for new configurations. Next, I'm going to leave the configuration mode frequency to 15 minutes. This specifies how often the VM is going to test its configuration. Under configuration mode, I'm going to change to apply and autocorrect. This means that if any of the configurations drift, DSC will autocorrect them. I'm also going to select Allow Module Override, which specifies whether new configurations are allowed to overwrite old modules that are already on the target node. And I'm also going to check off Reboot Node if needed. Finally, under Action After Reboot, I'm going to leave it selected to Continue Configuration. This means that if a reboot is necessary during configuration, once the machine comes back up, DSC will continue configuring the node. Now I'm going to click OK, and Azure is going to connect to the VM and apply the configuration. I skipped ahead so you wouldn't have to wait for my configuration to complete. Now, under Configuration Management, when we go to DSC Nodes, you can see our newly onboarded Azure VM in the list. We can also see its status and whether it's compliant, as well as its node configuration. If I click on this node, we can see the details associated with the node. We can also see the reports that DSC has returned to Azure Automation DSC. Right now, we only have an initial configuration. As consistency checks run, the node will report those back to Azure Automation, and they will show up in this list. Under Report Details, we can see whether the machine is compliant, the time that it ran, as well as how long it ran for. We can also see the resources that are being applied and whether or not those are compliant as well. And that is how you add an Azure VM to Azure Automation DSC.